Welcome Starts Busters to question 20. And considering that this is question 20 and one of the last questions on the paper, this is actually really, really easy. What might catch some people out on this is just the fact that there's quite a bit of writing, but the actual maths is very, very easy. You're very lucky that this is a question 20. In March, Ken collects two, three or four eggs each day from his hens. In the first 20 days, he's got 57 eggs altogether. There are 31 days in March. What's the greatest number of eggs he can collect in March? So in his first 20 days, he's got 57. So we need to bear that in mind. But then there are an extra 11 days. So we need to think about this extra 11 days. Now we're trying to find the greatest number of eggs he could get. Well, the least number of eggs he could get each day is two. So if he got the least number of eggs each day, he would be getting 11 lots of two. But... Is if you're getting the greatest number of eggs each day for those 11 days, it's going to be 11 lots of four. So if on the first of those 11 days, he gets four. The second of those 11 days, he gets another four. The third of those 11 days, he gets another four. If all the 11 days, he gets another four, each of those days, he's going to get 11 times four. And that is 44. Remember, he can't get any more than four eggs on any one day. So basically, in the first 20 days, he's got 57 eggs. In the final 11 days, he's going to get the most he possibly can, which is 44. All we need to do is do 57 add 44. 7 add 4 is 11. Put the 1 in, carry the 1. 5 plus 4 is 9, plus 1 is 10. So that means 101 eggs. So the most he can possibly get in March is 101 eggs.